Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to check error log file for SQL Server reporting services errors. First of all, think about a scenario where you have deployed a lot of reports on a report server. So in my case, I have deployed a, a lot of reports in different folders on my report server. So I have a reports underscore 20 SQL 2014. So that's what the my report server is. And if I go to the one of the export reports demo folder, I have a couple of reports here. Let me click on the detailed report. And if I will click on that one, I'm get, getting this uh, error. So this is straightforward error. It's an invalid object name. Now think about a scenario where you, you have created a report, but your report is not giving you enough information uh, on the report manager. And you have to dig into that and find out the issue how you would do that first uh, this part is fine this gives us some information but if you would like to take more detailed look uh, and uh, uh, dig into we need to go to the SQL server reporting services uh, error log files how we would do that you go to the folder and then uh, go to your PC where SQL server is installed on my case it is installed on a C drive I'm gonna click on C drive and then go to the program files and then once I go to program files I have to locate Microsoft SQL server so once I open that one I will see multiple folders so here are my SQL server instances and if you see here I have SQL 2014 and I have SQL 2016 for reporting services it will start with MSRS Microsoft reporting service and you see that I have two of them I have MSRS 12 point SQL 2014 that's the SQL 2014 is my instance name and I have MSRS 13 dot SQL 2016 so SQL 2016 is my instance name so from here I can tell this is SQL Server 2016 and this is SQL Server 2014 so as we are dealing with SQL Server 2014 reports reporting server so I will be opening this folder once I open this one, a reporting services folder will be there. I open that one. Then the log files are going to be there. So I open the log files and here I can sort them by modified data. So here we can click on uh, modify um, by sort them by modified date or date modified. And uh, this is the latest uh, log file we have here. So double click on this one and it will open. Now you can scroll down all the way and keep searching for your error or the other way around what I do I take some part of my error from the report manager and let's say in this case it is in uh, data set uh, DS1 so I will take that one and copy it and then just control F and paste it here so let's see if we find that so it took me right there and from there I can further take a detailed look so here I can see that oh okay so that's the error I can find it here saying invalid object in debut total sale in this case uh, the error was pretty much given like okay invalid object name so but in most of the cases I have seen on the reporting server the errors are not that descriptive so you have to go to the error uh, log files and check from there they're more helpful so if you do not have permission sometime you would not have permission on the log files you you can ask your DBA he can copy this file and email to you and you can uh, take a look uh, to find out that uh, error so thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video